Hello Apostles, this is Kim, your host of the Update Dispatch. Have you had the chance to test out the new Scholar class yet? If not, make sure to head over to A3 Still Alive to see the versatile Scholar's fancy summoning skills in action. We added all new content in our last huge update, which could have some of you lost in Seldir. Hang in there, Apostles, on your journey to reaching max level. To support your endeavors, we've got new content and additional ways to increase your combat power. So let's dive in to the update. Before, each Apostle could bring three Soul Linkers on their adventures. With this new update, that number has increased to five, allowing you to build your strategies around even more Soul Linkers. Now that you have slots for more than just one attack, defense, and support type, Maybe it's time to change up your playstyle. We also have Soul Linker conversion events, wish currency item updates, and more. That way you can level up your Soul Linkers to place in those new slots right away. Be sure to check it out. The Blue Moon Forest Event Dungeon is now open. This is a limited dungeon that is only available during the event. It's a solo dungeon like Shyland Mine and can be entered two times a day. You can use tickets to enter additional times. There are normal, nightmare, and apocalypse difficulties, but you'll need to clear the easier difficulties to unlock the more challenging ones. You can also exchange the event currency earned from the Blue Moon Forest for items in the exchange shop, but keep in mind that the currencies are unique to the dungeon, so make sure to check which dungeon currency you need. In the Blue Moon Forest, you'll fight rabbit monsters as well as the giant rabbit boss, Totomu. Don't let its cute appearance fool you, its teeth are sharp. So stay on your toes and victory will be yours. The upper limits of various modes will also be expanded and new features will be added. First, the Dark Lighthouse, where you can test your solo strength, now goes all the way up to 84 floors. The maximum sanctuary level will be increased to 70. And starting with this update, additional stats will be applied starting at Apostle level 51. Additional slates will be unlocked and you'll be able to equip various stat boosting fragments in addition to gold and experience related fragments. Battle Pass Season 4 is coming up. Certain rewards from the existing Battle Pass have been changed or improved, so make sure to fight in the Battle Royale and level up your Battle Pass. A new Battle Royale weapon, the Twilight Lantern, is being added with the Season 4 Battle Pass. This lantern allows its wielder to use the power of various summons. It also has access to two healing skills and an interrupting skill, which make it a useful and aggressive piece of equipment that's sure to be popular. Lastly, region quests for Seldir have been added, as well as new achievements and titles. Check out the look of the brand new Grade 9 Cape. For those who want to challenge Velengort Fortress, the new 5-star attack and support affiliation Apostle Fragments that grant various stat boots will be a great help. So make sure to equip them before joining your guild on the battlefield. I'll have even more news the next time I see you. Make sure to like and subscribe to get the latest A3 news and stories.